But when it comes to the fish people are consuming across the globe, this is a reality check in regards to exactly what people are eating and what some of the other creatures look like in the waters where a majority of the Arctic crab and lobster and all that stuff is caught. Creatures like this are popping up more and more. This was a local fisherman that says on the daily they are catching things like this that should not be, that are very weird, uh, what look to be deformed creatures, and they're saying that it's from all the nuclear waste that is in the area. Now, Murmansk, Russia, is home to 20,000 fuel rods, and that's about 333,360 cubic feet of nuclear waste that's inside 11,000 containers that the Russian Navy has simply dumped into the Barents Sea and the Kara Sea, both of them in the Arctic Ocean. If you look at a map here, this is the very edge here, and Norway wraps all the way up and around to right here. Then you have Finland and then Sweden, which is out of frame, but this is the very tip of Russia. They're like most northeastern flank here. This city being crucial, but they've dumped in these waters and right outside Murmansk a lot of uh, this toxic stuff. You can see here's the Kara Sea, and it's in this area where they've dumped even more. So both these areas having a lot of nuclear stuff in them, and these are areas where a lot of fishing is done, both being on the southern flank of the Arctic Ocean. Now, the Barents Sea is where a majority of the commercial fish and crabs are fished for for the world, especially Northern Europe. During the Cold War, there was up to 150 nuclear subs that were stationed in this region at any given time, each sub having two reactors and contained between 248 and 252 nuclear fuel rods. And most of these giants, some 558 feet have been have been decommissioned in the past 15 years, but there's still like 40 of them that contain reactors with fuel rods, radioactive fuel rods, that are like rusted whales just waiting for them uh, to come along and do something with them. So what's happening in the meantime? Well, they also took this big old ship, and what they did is they took highly radioactive fuel rods. They ordered men to take sledgehammers and start blasting away at these fuel rods to try to make them squeeze into this area. They try to pack as much nuclear waste as they could into one area. And on this ship that has uranium, plutonium, and all kinds of other by byproducts, they've had to pump it up with air to keep it afloat. It had to be pumped up with compressed air to prevent it from sinking. Now, despite the ship's close proximity to downtown in Murmansk, the radiation level display on an early warning panel at the city's main bus station is always reading zero. And I'm telling you, it's broke and it does not work. Because the radioactive levels coming out of this area out here very close are, are high. And all they're simply doing is putting up a box in the area telling people, oh, everything's okay. If this thing goes off, take cover, shelter in place, whatever the plan is for up there. But I'm telling you now, it's not doing its job because there is radioactive waste all over the place. So you have fish, what should have been bass, coming out looking like this. You have squid coming out with massive fins and being deformed completely. This is supposed to be halibut. It has a big old eye, it's a cyclops. Just crazy looking creatures that they are discovering out here. And these are just a few. And this is the area that they are fishing. You know, you ever seen the uh, the guys out there in the ships on the show where they're out there looking for crabs? You know, <laughs> out there in the seas, the Barents Sea, that sea specifically. Uh, when those, when they were putting on all those, uh, putting out those shows with 
those guys competing. This is the exact area they're out there netting in. Radioactive waters. Now, it may not have been as far south and right up to the border of Murmansk, but I'm telling you, they've dumped stuff all over the place. And the Kara Sea is a whole nother, whole nother chapter in, in dealing with all this. I mean, they've literally dumped this radioactive stuff all over the place. So, you know, you have this, you have the more recent uh, Fukushima that took place. And you also have Chernobyl. I mean, Russia has a history of problems with, with nuclear stuff. And what do they do with it? Just dumped it in the sea for the most part. And I'm here to tell you that these are the fish they're pulling out of the area. And this is also the area that a majority of the world's fish and crab comes from. Especially for Europe. Something to think about. I'll leave a link. Until next time, it's been Dabu7. Peace.